November. Embracing the call to shift. Finally writing unapologetically and creating spaces for healing and growth. Happy November, sweet friends. Welcome to the pause. It has been a minute since I last wrote here. Truth is, I had a solid writing routine and posting schedule for a while, dropping new words almost every week. I was comfortable with what I was sharing with you and making sure my content was palatable enough for uh, white folks or everyone. But that was before I survived both Hurricanes Helene and Milton within days of each other and before the Dana storm that claimed more than 200 lives in my native Spain. Those tragedies reminded me of the indomitable power of nature, sure, but they also brought focus once again on how little leaders and governments around the world care about their people's well-being, safety, and equitable access to resources. I remembered that we must learn to show up and care for one another, and for that to occur, I must step into my truth and my power in all aspects of my life, including this community. A shift with the Vata season. I went to the Blue Ridge Mountains to teach yoga, write, and frolic in the forest with a group of BIPOC storytellers to welcome Vata season amidst the changing foliage. Yet, I had one of the wildest weeks of my life, and I returned shaken as fuck. After a few therapy and community care sessions, I feel grateful, connected, and empowered. This empowerment is fueling a shift in intention for this publication, bringing a renewed focus to the pause, transforming it into a true source of support for BIPOC, queer, disabled folks, and anyone seeking to explore wellness practices unapologetically through a decolonized and trauma-informed lens. You learn to reconnect with your creative truth and nurture a more intentional lifestyle through yoga, meditation, breathwork, and community care practices that go beyond the mainstream and gentrified approaches. So welcome to the pause once again, my friend. Cultivating inner warmth through words. November is often a time to draw inward, both literally and metaphorically. A chance to slow down and find warmth within ourselves and our communities as the days grow shorter and colder. Vata season, in the wisdom of Ayurveda, embodies the qualities of air and space. It is marked by coolness, dryness, and movement. A season that brings the crisp wind of change, which can be both invigorating and unsettling. It's an invitation to integrate practices that ground and stabilize both body and mind, helping us find and maintain balance through the shifting season. For writers, November also brings the challenge and excitement of NaNoWriMo, or Writevember, a time of year when we gather across the globe, we dust off manuscript ideas that have lingered in the corners of our minds for far too long, and let them take shape. So whether it's a novel, short story, or a poem that's been calling you, this is your sign to begin if you're choosing to follow the calling. Weekly live streams. To help you navigate this time of year, and especially for those who want to dive into creativity and productivity in a slow, cozy, and sustainable way, I'm offering a variety of live streams that blend self and community care this week, and I'd love for you to join me. I will be both on YouTube and Insight Timer, and you can find the links to those classes in the show notes. So I invite you to come explore these practices with me in a super chill community of folks who want to build resilience and find warmth as we move through the Vata season and beyond. Also know that to make these practices accessible to BIPOC, queer, and disabled folks, these online events are free to attend. Donations are always welcome and appreciated, but they're never expected. In case you missed it, in these times of shift and uncertainty, our nervous system can get out of whack often feeling stuck in fight, flight, freeze mode. Try this Yoga for Nervous System Reset class to release tension and reconnect to the rest, digest, and relax state. Find the link in the show notes as well. All right, friend, that's all from me today. Thank you for being an essential part of this community. As the pause and ourselves continue to evolve, may we embrace the shifts, support each other, and move through each season with care and intention. Until we meet again, pause often, breathe deeply, and be kind, especially to yourself. Much love, Laya.